Welcome back dear children. Myself Sir Sunil, your physics teacher. How are you students? Fine. I hope you all are fine and also you all are safe. So here we have completed our unit third, energy. Okay students, today we are going to discuss the exercise questions and answers from this unit. All of you take out your book and copy and watch this video carefully. Okay students, objective part questions and answers already there in your book. Test yourself and go through it. If you are facing any troubles, you can ask to me when class starts. Okay, here we are discussing the short or long answer questions. All of you take out your book and try to underline these answers in your book itself. First of all, we are going to discuss our question number 1. Question number 1. Okay. Please read out the question. What is our question number 1? It is very easy question. That is define the term energy. Define the term energy. Already we have discussed about the energy and work and all. Okay, students. You please mark it. Energy is the capacity to do work. Energy is the capacity to do work. Either you mark in your book, otherwise you write in a rough copy. Okay, students. What is the answer? Energy is the capacity to do work. Okay, now we are going to discuss our question number second. Question number second. Please read out the question number second. State the unit of energy and define it. Our second question is state the unit of energy and define it. Answer is given here. The SI unit of energy is joule. The SI unit of energy is joule. Symbol is J. How can we define it? The term joule. Here it is. A body is said to possess an energy of 1 joule. If a force of 1 newton moves the body by a distance of 1 meter in the direction of force. A body is said to possess an energy of 1 joule. How can we say that? 1 joule. If a force of 1 newton moves the body by a distance of 1 meter. In the direction of force. Then we can say that that is 1 joule. Ok students, please mark it. Or write in your copy. Ok students. Now, question number third. Please take out your question number third. What is our question number three? Please read out. It is very easy question. Name five different forms of energy. Name five different forms of energy. The different forms of energy are mechanical energy, heat energy, light energy, chemical energy, sound energy. We have discussed eight forms of energy, okay, eight forms of energy in our book, but here in the question we are discussing only five. Okay. You please learn eight forms of energy because sometimes the inside questions can come. Okay, students. Now, 
we are going to discuss question number question number 4 okay students question number 4 please read out the question number 4 what are two kinds of mechanical energy the question number 4 is what are two kinds of mechanical energy the two kinds of mechanical energy are the potential energy and the kinetic energy what is the short form of this one we have already discussed pe means potential energy and ke means kinetic energy what is another name of potential energy that is u clear kinetic energy that is k these all points we have already discussed here is our question what are two kinds of mechanical energy only so we have to write the answer the two kinds of mechanical energy are the potential energy and the kinetic energy Okay students now we will discuss the question number 5 question number 5 please read the question number 5 what is potential energy what is potential energy okay students we have already discussed about the potential energy and its examples its units and all so here is our question that is very easy what is potential energy please write it the potential energy of a body is the energy possessed by it due to its state of rest or position the potential energy is produced by its state or state of rest or position only we have discussed the si unit of potential energy is joule okay students the si unit of potential energy that is joule please write in your copy otherwise mark in your test book okay now we are going to discuss our question number Six, okay. Question number six. Please read out the question number six. Give one example of a body that has potential energy. Give an example of a body that has potential energy. in each of the following condition is given here what are the condition due to its position and due to its state due to its position and due to its state answer is first one for first one a hammer at a height a hammer at a height has potential energy due to its position at a height okay students a hammer at a height has potential energy due to its position at a height okay then for second situation a stretched rubber catapult has potential energy due to its state so we got two conditions due to its position and due to its state okay two examples also given here okay students now we are going to move to discuss question number 7 question number 7 please read out the question number 7 so please read out state two factors on which the potential energy of a body at a certain height above the ground depends 
state two factors on which the potential energy of a body at a certain height above the ground depends. Answer is given here. The potential energy of a body in the raised position depends upon the following two factors. First one, mass of the body. Second factor that is its height above the ground. The mass of the body and the height above the ground. We have discussed in the class. Okay, these are the two factors depends on the raised position. Okay. Now we will move to our question number 8. Okay. Please read out the question number 8. Okay, students. Two bodies A and B of masses 10 gram, sorry, 10 kilogram and 20 kilogram respectively are at the same height, are at the same height above the ground. Which of the two has the greater potential energy? Okay, you please note down the masses. Okay, first one. 10 kg, second one 20 kg. It is kept at the same height. Then which of the two has the greater potential energy? The answer is the body B. Why? Because its mass is greater than the body B. Okay, that's why the answer is given here. The body B having mass of 20 kg has the greater potential energy. Okay, students, you please mark it out in your test book. Now we will discuss question number 9. Okay, question number 9. Please read out. A bucket full of water is on the first floor of your house and another identical bucket, same bucket, another same bucket with the same quantity of water is kept on the second floor. Which of the two has greater potential energy? The mass is same. Okay. But one is on the first floor, second one is on the second floor. Okay. Which one has the greater potential energy? Answer is a bucket full of water kept on the second floor has the greater potential energy. Because the height is more here. The height is more here. One is kept in the first floor, another one kept on the second floor. So height is height is more in the bucket which is kept in the second floor. Okay, students. Now we will discuss question number 10. Question number 10. Okay, students. Please read out. Define the term kinetic energy. Define the term kinetic energy. Give one example of a body which possesses kinetic energy. Give one example of a body which possesses kinetic energy. Answer is kinetic energy of a body is the energy possessed by it due to its state of motion, due to its state of motion. That particular type of energy is called kinetic energy. So we can see the kinetic energy in a swinging pendulum. Swinging pendulum, we know that the bob is moving here and there, to and from motion. Bob is in the to and from motion. The bob is moving. So that bob is having the 
kinetic energy. So please write it. In a swinging pendulum moving to and fro, the bob has the kinetic energy. Okay, students. Now we will discuss question number 11. Okay, question number 11. Please read out the question number 11. State two factors on which the kinetic energy of a moving body depends. State two factors on which the kinetic energy of a moving body depends. Here is the answer. The kinetic energy of a moving body depends on the following two factors. First one, the mass of the body. Second one, the speed of the body. First one, the mass of the body. Second one, the speed of the body. Please write in your copy. Now, we will move to the question number third. Okay, students. Question number Please mark it. What is our question number 12? Two toy cars A and B of masses 500 gram and 200 gram. Please mark it. Which are the masses? 500 gram and 200 gram respectively are moving with the same speed. These both toy cars are moving with the same speed but masses are different. Which of the two has greater kinetic energy? Clear? We know that which one car has the more mass that will be that will be in the greater kinetic energy okay so the answer is the toy car a of mass 500 gram has the greater kinetic energy okay students the toy car a of mass 500 gram has the greater kinetic energy so now we'll discuss the cost number 13 okay students Question number 13. Please read out. A cyclist doubles his speed. We know how to ride the bicycle, okay, students. So, if it doubles our speed of the bicycle, how will our kinetic energy change? Increase decrease or remain same if it doubles the speed is very simple answer okay when a cyclist doubles his speed what will happen his kinetic energy increases four times when a cyclist doubles his speed his kinetic energy increases four times Okay, students, now we are going to discuss a uh, question number 14. It's the time to wind up today's session. Question number 14 onwards we will discuss in tomorrow's class. Okay, students, here we have discussed uh, till question number 14 from our unit energy. Then 15 onwards till last we will discuss next day. Okay, students. So please go through it. If you have any doubt, you can ask to me eh, when school starts. So today I am going to wind up my section. Thank you and have a nice day.